<laughs> Whoa, that cough is nuts, man. This is utterly ridiculous. I think I have a cold. No, I, I think you have emphysema. Uh, maybe you should go see a doctor. Let's move. We've been sitting here for a while. I wonder where that doctor is. You better get a quick. This is giving me mad cow disease. I'll, I'll get on that. Hey, friend, how are you going to tell me you're not feeling well? I'm Dr. COPD. What seems to be the problem today? Let's explain in song. I have horrible news, guys. I have emphysema. I'm coughing all the time. My mom tells me to be quiet. I cry there. Let me tell you what's up. I have emphysema. It's emergency call FEMA. Someone call Obama or someone call my mama. Cause I'll be coughing at 3100. I'll call Dr. Harley in East London. She'll say I should check for cyanosis. That's at times a part of the diagnosis. She'll ask me if I smoke. Before I answer, I'll choke. Now please tell me about emphysema. Let me tell you what's affecting me, yeah? I feel fatigue, I feel fatigue. When I cough, I wanna heave. I just wanna sleep. It's so hard to breathe. My chest is grown without any stimulus. My ribcage expands. To understand, you must know that there's a lot of pressure in my lungs. Class is in session, kids, the bell just rung. Emphysema is a lung disease that makes breathing difficult. Emphysema, along with chronic bronchitis, together are referred to as chronic obstructive lung disease, or COPD. Right now, COPD is the fourth leading cause of death in the United States. During early stages of emphysema, most people will have few symptoms because this disease progresses slowly. A typical person will not experience symptoms until they have smoked a pack of cigarettes per day for more than 20 years. Over time, all people with emphysema develop shortness of breath, starting at first only during strenuous activity, then eventually during everyday activities. Symptoms of emphysema include breathlessness with exertion, and eventually breathlessness all the time in advanced disease, susceptibility to chest infections, cough and phlegm production, fatigue, a barrel-shaped chest from expansion of the rib cage in order to accommodate for the enlarged, enlarged lungs, and cyanosis, a blue tinge to the skin due to lack of oxygen. To diagnose emphysema, I will start by asking about your history with smoking cigarettes, then ask about your respiratory symptoms. Next, I will use tests to help with the diagnosis. Chest x-rays are often used to check for enlarging of the lungs. Spirometry is used to test pulmonary function by having a person you would blow forcefully through a tube connected to a machine that would measure your lung capacity. And another thing that I can do is to test your arterial blood gases, which is measuring the amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide in a blood sample from your wrist. I have emphysema. It's emergency call FEMA. Someone call Obama or someone call my mama. So I'll be coughing in 3100. I'll call Dr. Harley in East London. She'll say I should check for cyanosis. That's a time apart of the diagnosis. She'll ask me if I smoke. Before I answer, I'll choke. Now please tell me about emphysema. What's happening to me, bruh? Emphysema affects the last alveoli the most. It'll have you wheezing like a ghost. But we're not talking about ghosts like Casper. Damage to your alveoli is a disaster. Alveoli is made up of protein elastin. This provides the pressure so you can breathe fastin. Elastin is harmed by irritants like smoking. It really hurts your airways. No, we ain't joking. Emphysema affects the elastin and alveoli the most. Alveoli are tiny air sacs, and elastin is a protein that makes up the alveoli. Elastin is significant as it provides the pressure that allows for easy breathing. When a person inhales irritants regularly for a long period of time, the irritants cause inflammation. Irritants mostly result from smoking and can cause a loss of elasticity of lungs due to destruction of the elastin. Loss of elasticity causes airways to narrow. With emphysema also comes a loss of pressure in the lungs. Loss of pressure causes them to overinflate, making it harder to breathe. I 
I have emphysema, it's an emergency call FEMA Someone call Obama, or someone call my mama Cause I'll be coughing in 3100 I'll call Dr. Harley in East London She'll say I should check for cyanosis That's at times a part of the diagnosis She'll ask me if I smoke Before I answer, I'll choke Now please tell me about emphysema What's happening to me, bruh? Reduce lung capacity means not enough air. Breathe harder for the O2? It just isn't fair. Emphysema produces phlegm. This blocks the airways you see, which has been narrowed from loss of elasticity. All of this results in a slow airflow. The change in pressure over radius is just too low. Breathing so slow, people call you a slow poke. This could have been prevented if you just didn't smoke. Stop or reverse emphysema, but available treatment can help to relieve symptoms, treat complications, and minimize disability. The top treatment recommended by me is to quit smoking completely. This will slow the loss of lung function at later stages. Some medications that I can prescribe to you to relieve your symptoms include bronchodilators, which help open up the bronchial tubes to reduce the shortness of breath corticosteroids, which help reduce inflammation in the lungs, and antibiotics, which are used typically for acute flare-ups of COPD triggered by respiratory infections. Some treatments are available as well for people in more advanced stages of emphysema, including pulmonary re rehabilitation, lung volume reduction surgery, and lung transplant. I have emphysema, it's an emergency called FEMA Someone call Obama, or someone call my mama Cause I'll be coughing in 3100 I'll call Dr. Harley in East London She'll say I should check for cyanosis That's at times a part of the diagnosis She'll ask me if I smoke Before I answer, I'll choke Thanks for telling me about emphysema Now I know what's in me, bruh